Let's... Hi everyone, super excited today. The sun's out, it's 2022, and we're in Tamuro Mountain Bike Park here in the Waikato. Now as it's uh, 2022, come up with a New Year's resolution, decided to bring out the steam bike, the Zero Tanifa. I'm really keen to see how this thing's gonna perform out here. What, you're really gonna ride it? Oh hell no, I'm not gonna ride it. <laughs> um, but I am keen to see how it's gonna ride out here. I'm gonna ride the e-bike. So I've pulled in our youngest, fastest, fittest uh, member of Dad's Army to ride this. Here I am, I'm ready to go. I think you misheard oh. me. I said youngest, fastest and fittest. We've got oh, someone else in mind. I'm close. No, not that close, Kev. Oh, oh. No, we've actually got uh, Nathan. Uh, he's actually a fairly long-standing Dad's <laughs> Army member, but he is our youngest, fastest and fittest. So anyway, you're going to give this a go for us today? Yeah, give it a spin. All right, let's go for a ride, guys. <laughs> oh, okay, this guy is ridiculous. How come my bike, I didn't know, my, oh, Nathan. I didn't even know my bike could do that. Oh. Oh. Come on, come on, what's the hold up? You thought you were going too fast down downhill for me to keep up, didn't you? Oh, nice, mate. I don't know that anyone's following us. I don't know if anyone's still with us. That was fun, Nathan. Oh man, you ride it better than me. You probably find, given that we're the same weight, the bike's probably set up the same for us. I put a bit of seal into the tires, but probably needs new pads, but you don't need the brakes, so it's all good. Man, you make that thing look good. All right, I'm finally going to go up a climb behind Nathan and not be crying. <laughs> we can probably make Nathan cry by the end of it. Oh, there's something not right there. Oh, it says easy up though, that means it's going to be pretty easy. I can see where Nathan's going to lose half the, the crew at some point today. I guess the easy way to know where Nathan's gone, if it says hard, that's the way he's going to go. <laughs> so is this hard, uh, Nathan? Is this, um, no, it's uh, Nathan hard or Steve hard? Yeah, I was just going to say, Nathan, <laughs> when you say not that hard. <laughs> All right. Just remember, I'm old, Nathan. Oh, he's got his, never going to keep up. Whoa, shit, it's a drop. This boy is ridiculously quick. I've got an e-bike for crying out loud. Yeah, I was riding your tail. You were holding me up a little bit, but uh, it was not too bad. No, it was good stuff, man. Who knew my bike was that fast? I certainly didn't. Oh, not that line. Oh, damn it, a terrible line. Okay, I've lost him. Another drop. Whoa. Looks like another drop. Whoa, hey. Good stuff, boys, good stuff. <laughs> the guys loved it, Nathan. More of the same, only Nalia. Oh, you're a machine, Nathan. That's pretty steep. At some point, he's going to start complaining, but I don't know when. Oh, this is real e-bike territory. You Saying that, the Zero does have a real small gear. Nathan's probably not even using it. Oh man, Nathan, that, this is steep. I love riding in this native bush stuff. Nice and cool and tree roots. What I can't believe 
is that normally when you follow a steam bike up a hill like this, you notice them stall with lack of power everywhere. I'm just assuming Nathan's on an e-bike as well. It's just charging up here. It's all that unsprung weight, you reckon? That's the, that's the difference. After I pushed it into him, so he's going too fast. So, so Craig, are you regretting your life decisions at this point? No, man. I, yeah, pedal bikes all the way. Eh? Pedal bikes all the way? Absolutely. Nathan shows yeah. you don't need an e-bike. Yeah, so. no, exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, let's try out Phil's goal, eh? Oh, I'm never gonna keep up. Surely, with a motor, I must have some bits I can catch him on. Yeah, actually, I am. What's the hold up, Nathan? I shouldn't have said that, should I? Downhill again. Oh. Oh, I'm puffing. I know he's only cruising, which is annoying, but. Just waiting to smack my fingers in these trees. It's tight. Okay, guys, let's just say we're not going to stay with them. Okay, he's officially gone. Thing is, like, there's climb bits, and normally on an e bike, there's enough of them. Oh, yeah, I can see him again. Oh, you see, he's not that quick. Oh, just need more climbs. I can't believe I'm asking for more climbs. Oh, Whew. that is the first time I've ever followed someone down a track praying for some uphill. <laughs> just thinking, I need a bit of uphill to catch him on. That's the first time ever. Whew. Whew. Well, we're having a wee break. What do you think of the view? Not bad, eh? <laughs> what do you think of that, Zach? Yeah, well, if I had narrow handlebars... You're easy yeah, to clip your bars, eh? It's pretty scary. Yeah. It's gnarly. It's one of the best trials I've ridden in a long time. That was great fun. Great cool. fun. What about you, Steve? Yeah, it teaches you to keep your fingers just that little bit further <laughs> in. You don't want to be knocking them on the sides. No, Fair enough. Awesome. So, yep, you made it look hard. I mean, easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got it, man. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh, the style. <laughs> man, you have to concentrate. These trees, you probably don't see on the video, but you feel as though you're just going to hit your fingers all the time. Oh, every time Nathan takes an alternate line, I'm thinking it's rubbish. And every time it turns out it wasn't rubbish, it was a better line. I don't know why I'm still trying so hard because he's obviously gone. Let's have a sit down. Just got here, have you? Yeah, a couple of seconds, that was it. Right on your tail. I gave up in the end. <laughs> 
You guys know uh, that I'm into the very latest technology, social media and everything. In fact, I'm pretty sure a lot of you subscribe just to keep up to date. Now, I found this new thing. It's called Instagram. It's a bit like Facebook on your phone. You've got pictures and videos and things like that. The cool kids like us just call it Insta. Um, and Best Day Ever being cutting edge has its own uh, Instagram account, which is Best Day Ever underscore MTB. It's probably there or there on the screen somewhere. <laughs> Talking of uh, new trendy things, have you ever seen how the, the kids write when they put that hashtag symbol in front of everything? Um, apparently it actually does something. I thought it was just to be cool. So we also have a hashtag BDEMTB. It'll be there somewhere as well. So anyway, you're all up to date. Instagram, check it out. It's the new latest thing. <laughs> What about TikTok? TikTok. There's no such thing as TikTok. I would know if there was a thing called TikTok. You're just confusing the viewers. Instagram. Check out Instagram. Whoa. You do realize this is unrideable on an e-bike, I mean on a normal bike. I don't know how he got up there. <laughs> nice form, Zach. Yeah, we got it. Wouldn't make you look bad. How's it going there, Kev? Were you yeah, lying down there before? No worries. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I got the wall right. Oh no, Nathan. Nathan, I've got that on camera by the way. That's officially a, a, an off. <laughs> I'm not editing that one out either. Oh, sorry. All right, time for a bit of lunch. Um, Tamara is actually a pretty good place for lunch. Right by the lake, there's a tables barbecue set up. Um, it's a really well set up bike park, actually. Um, most of the guys have never been here before, um, but I try and drop in from time to time. Um, I go down to Tauranga a lot, and it's this is near Cambridge, so sometimes I'll stop for a ride on the way up or the way down. It's a bit of an e-biker's um, paradise, really, um, although as you've obviously watched the video, you can see that you can ride it on a, on a normal bike, but I must admit, I, I do like riding here on the e-bike really beautiful tranquil spot um, as I say there's a lake nice green um, fields there uh, trees and as I say it's got a combination of open flowy trails jumps trails and um, the native bush trails which we spent most of the time in today because it was really really super hot today um, and the natives are just it's nice and cool up there and as I say it, it, I think the Tamaro in the middle of winter can be a lot more challenging to ride um, but certainly during the summertime um, like it is today yeah you've got to check it out definitely worth a ride here easy flow it Now you may be wondering how a young chap like Nathan ever ended up hanging out with a load of 50-year-old uh, blokes in Dad's army. Um, but we met him in 2015 at the first Crankworks. He was just a young lad. Um, he came and joined us riding, came and joined us every Crankworks after that. In fact, he even came to Whistler with us um, on a Whistler holiday. So a whole load of 50-year-old blokes and a young 20-year-old. Um, but he's a cool guy, haven't seen him for a while, and so really good to catch up with him. Yeah, that was cool, man. Bit dusty, but cool. All right, glowworm. Nathan's gonna go nice and steady on this one so I can keep with him. I think me and Turbo and Nathan Normal, we've got about the same power output. Can anyone see? My eyes are watering. Normally on an e-bike with these sort of tracks, there's usually enough uphill that I can catch up to a faster rider than me. But I 
still can do it. Just try and put a few power strokes in. Oh. Well, I'm glad to know my bike can go that fast. Ride that trench. Ooh. Tell you, there's full concentration going on right now. Used to, believe it or not, me and, and oh god, guess you, Nathan used to do the odd race together, although very different times. Obviously, I was a lot faster than Nathan. Yeah, you know that's a joke. Oh. Nathan's also had a bit of sponsorship in the past from Liad as well. Uh, right guys, does it matter? Probably not. Oh shit! Far out! <laughs> oh. oh man, down. Jeez. Uh, the... My handlebars hooked one of those vines and it didn't let go. Literally pulled. Oh, I went over the bars. Did you see that coming? I certainly didn't. You know these vines things, got it hooked around my handlebars and I just assumed it would let go. And it didn't, eventually it just pulled me off. But anyway, all good. Uh, a freak accident, that one. Literally the vine just hooked around the end of my handlebar. And, it, and I thought it would just spring off, but eventually it just yanked me off the bike. That's the thing about mountain biking. You just never know when it's gonna go wrong and why. What have you been up to? <laughs> Would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait a minute, it's not on! <laughs> Alrighty, back on the zero. Oh, why is it so slow? I don't know, why is it going so slow? Oh my goodness. What the hell? Oh. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> Holy crap! Oh shit, wrong way. I want my bike back. I want my bike back. Oh. 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 I'm never ever doing that again.
All right, last track of the day. This one's called 17 Hundy. Um, cool track, but to be honest, the video's got a bit long. So I think what I'll do is we'll make a separate video on this and call it a midweek special. You never know, there may be even a link for that at the end of the video if you haven't already seen it. Well, that could be a candidate for best day ever. That was an awesome day, awesome group of guys. A uh, few spills, but nobody, nothing serious. Uh, what did I learn? Well, I learned the Zero Tanifa handles the trails awesomely out here, but I'd still rather be on the e-bike. Um, if you liked the video and haven't subscribed, love if you did that. Leave us a comment, thumbs up and all that sort of thing. And we'll see you on the next one.